Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Chico Mix. Me, Carolina and I'm Gonzalo. We are gonna talk to you again about cultures and this time Gonzalo is gonna share his uh, his shocking uh, shocking points or what shocked him when he was in Czech Republic. Yeah, just remember that by shocking we mean uh, surprising. Don't take it in a in a bad way. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. That's the disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, remember this section is in English. So this is the second video that we are making in English. And if you don't know us, please subscribe to the channel. We are uploading a video every single week about this this topic. So don't miss it out. Okay, let's do it. So. Um, the first shocking point that I, I wrote a list, so if I'm looking down it's because I I don't remember all of them at the same time, so I made a list. And he did, he did his preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I did my homework, so uh, I think I deserve a prize as a scribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so the first thing that shocked me uh, living in Czech Republic is that I arrived and I was expecting just people talking in Czech or English or any other language but my surprise was that many people is speaking Spanish they speak Spanish they do they really do and some of them they were um, even trying to speak with me and some of them they just knew a little bit of Spanish some phrases but they try to speak it they try to communicate with with me that that was the the first shocking point and the next one was that i arrived to the capital the capital in czech republic is prague it's a really really amazing breathtaking city if you have the chance you have to visit it someday very old there's a lot to see yeah, it has a very rich history. Yeah. And what shocked me were sellers. Sellers everywhere, coming from everywhere. <laughs> and they, d I don't know if it was... Uh... What's the difference with, about the sellers here in Mexico and in Czech Republic? Because here I could say the same thing. You have a lot of sellers in the street. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference about them? Tell us. I think there's no difference, they are the same, they are overwhelming, they are trying to sell you. I would say that Czech people do not sell food in the street, or not so much as in Mexico. We are mostly uh, selling souvenirs, yes, you could say it's capital city. Yeah, I mean, you don't have it, for example, people trying to sell you some chips, some candies on the street now you don't have them but what it was surprising for me it it was that they were as pushy as the mexican <laughs> and i didn't expect that and the next thing that shocked me was the the system all the system is really precise talking about transport it's the best transport i've tried in my life is on time it's pretty reliable they even have an app so you can use it and here in Mexico we don't have that and then the um, the next point that I have is the price of the beer <laughs> wow you had to include that <laughs> yeah wow I was amazed by that beer is sometimes cheaper than water not yeah. sometimes always <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It's cheaper than coke, it's cheaper than water, it's cheaper than... Milk. Milk, yeah. Yeah, milk itself. So, just just to give you an idea, in Czech Republic you can find um, a bottle of beer that is 600 milliliters. In those times, 10 corons, 10 Czech corons. That in pesos, it was like 7, around 7 pesos. Imagine for seven pesos 
and it is sold all day long every day every single day of the week we don't have anything like it's sunday we are not gonna sell you any kind of alcohol after five in the afternoon yeah that's right that's mexican rule kind of mexican law right it's a law it's a law that on it's Sundays not... it's not allowed to mm -hmm. sell alcohol after five o'clock yeah. in Czech republic you can uh, buy alcohol at any hour I mean, in during the hours that the shop is open, of course. <laughs> That's um, another point, if I may. Yeah, and another thing is that they are really recycling all the bottles. So you buy them, you drink them, and then when you get 12 or more, you go and there's a machine and you change it. For, for a money. ticket, uh, they actually give you a ticket uh, where is written, well the machine is giving you the ticket, where is written how many bottles did you uh, return and then you have to go to the cash machine or some certain supermarkets have like a place where you have to go and they give you back money for returning the glass because glass, I mean, every single bottle is like uh, two or three crowns depends on the bottle, depends on the size. So they give you back your money. Yes, yeah, so you're trading it. They are really recycling. And if you trade 10 to 12, 10 to 20 bottles, then you get another two beers. So that's, that's great. That was great. Also, what shocked me, it's the price of vegetables and fruits. Here in Mexico, we, we should be grateful for having those prices and for having those, uh, all that kind of fruits and vegetables. Here they are pretty cheap, fresh and fresh. Yeah, that's, that's tasty. Point. Tasty. There, over there, they are frozen. But Either frozen know. or they keep them fresh by using some kind of chemicals or actually I think that they are uh, they are harvesting uh, the vegetable and fruit when it's not ripe yet and they are transporting it to the countries where it's being sold and it's getting raped in the in the transport so it really doesn't taste that nice or it's really not comparable to the taste Czech people they don't even know how uh, an avocado really tastes like <laughs> avocado, yeah. mango uh, they don't have the, the Mexican lemon for example well let's not generalize many people there travels uh, many people travels yeah I mean uh, traveling but being yeah, there many people travel and they just try the fruit and vegetable in some other country so we know that the vegetable that we have is not the best one but you got what you got so <laughs> eat it yeah, so that's why it was shocking for me that here we are paying around 50 pesos for example for a kilogram of avocados and there is just one piece and yeah. it's a piece that it's not ready to eat and it tastes awful so yeah that was shocking the next thing is that they don't have electricity cables on the street they <laughs> don't have it the the streets are so so beautiful <laughs> they don't have all the spider webs that we have here in mexico with the electricity cables yeah we have there and we have the electricity cables, then the internet cables, and then we have spider webs on the streets. So they don't. They don't. We have mentioned already how the countryside in Czech Republic looks like in a video when I was sharing what shocked me about Mexico. So you can check it out. Yeah, that, that, that was the other point that shocked me. Then I have... Um, some differences that I found eating in a restaurant eating in a restaurant it's totally different in the Czech Republic comparing it to Mexico uh, for example the waiter it's um, you know that here in Mexico 
you get you, you get your table then you sit down and meanwhile you are eating if you need or you want something you just raise your hand and call the waiter or waitress and I didn't know that in Czech Republic this is kind of rude for them it's yeah, it's, definitely it's don't right. shout at the waitress. It's like, hey, excuse me, please, please don't shout at them. Just um, what we do is usually we kind of stare at them until they notice us. <laughs> In most of the restaurants, yes. Of course, in Prague there is uh, many restaurants where which are visited by visitors, and those waiters and waitresses they just know that in uh, in America it's common to raise a hand when you need something or just call them, so they don't get offended, don't take us wrong. But um, yeah, in little villages when you visit a restaurant it's really not common to be calling your waiter or waitress yeah. fortunately uh, I knew it as she said in Prague I did it but fortunately they know that it's the way that we do it here in America so there wasn't a problem but um, being in, in the villages I tried to do it but before I try, I did, I really did it. Uh, I had friends that they they told me not to do it. So fortunately, I, I didn't have a bad, a bad experience about this. But if you go, don't do it. Also, talking about restaurants is that you don't have napkins on your table. You don't have. I, I was sitting and then I was like, and the napkins? <laughs> It's because we are not eating tacos and we are not <laughs> eating, eating uh, with our hands. So we use the cutlery and we don't get dirty our hands. And if you want to, uh, in case that you get dirty your hands while you are eating, so go to bathroom, wash your hands. Let's save the planet. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we are used to the napkins, even for just cleaning the mouth. It's again, it's about culture, and it was shocking for me that they don't have napkins. And if you need, you ask, and they just give you one. <laughs> just one. No Two fix the same, the same thing. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> you have to ask for it, and they will not give you like a bunch of it just for you because you are the one who <laughs> asked for it. Yeah, that's right. And also, if you're asking for some kind of alcoholic drinks for example if you want rum uh, rum brandy cognac whiskey they give you just a shot of alcohol and then if you want to add some mineral water or some soda you have to pay it and it's extra you have to ask for it and you have to pay for it extra it's not like here in Mexico that you get the, um, the combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't have those kind of drinks. Yeah, if you want a shot, you ask for the shot. And we are drinking shots. Like if usually you ask for vodka, tequila. Tequila, we have tequila from Spain and not from Mexico. It would be very rare if you get their tequila from Mexico. Just from Spain and it's not so good, right? It's really bad. And we drink it in shots. I think you drink it, you drink it in shots because it's really bad. <laughs> it's not tasty. It's not tequila. It's not real tequila. I mean, or... if, if, if we have a Spanish watchers, don't get us wrong. <laughs> but It's just that he's used to different taste of tequila. It's like if you go to Turkey and you try their, their coffee, it's going to taste differently. Maybe we will like it, maybe we won't like it. So, yeah, that's... That's why the disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Yeah, but yeah, that, that was shocking. But um, for example, if you ask for brandy, they are going to bring it to you with a lot of ice and just the drink. Yeah, really, we don't mix alcohol with soda or mineral water. No, never. Yeah, actually, the way of drinking it's totally different. We, we could make a video just about that. Yeah, 
if you want to know more just let us know in the comments and maybe we could make a video about drinking why not as she said uh, Czech people they drink to really get drunk so they just get the shot and drink it it's I wouldn't say that we drink to get drunk but <laughs> <laughs> well I, I mean it seems to you that way because yeah we drink directly pure alcohol in shots yeah that's true but I wouldn't say that we do it to get drunk you can drink just two shots and you don't get drunk well I what I'm trying to say is that you're not even tasting what you're drinking you're just putting it in your mouth and drink it seems that way but in my opinion you can taste it and you can feel it <laughs> Yeah, this, those are the cultures. <laughs> that, that's the point of view. That exactly. Precisely that's why we are making those videos, so that you see see something that seems very common, regular, ordinary, in a different point of view. Exactly. Anyway, so let's continue. The next one is the amount of cars on the traffic jams. That doesn't exist in Czech Republic. The peak hours are not peak hours. Calm hours in here. Yeah. Like very, very calm hours in here. <laughs> yeah. That was shocking. Also that many people is, is walking. Walking using the public transport. Car is just when you are really going far, far away for long trips. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, right. uh, that's what I was missing when I arrived to Mexico. That every time we were leaving the house, we had to take the car. And I hated it. Now I'm kind of used to it, but I hated that I can't walk anywhere. <laughs> Actually, you don't have sidewalks or pavements. Your pavements are like very tiny for one person. You can't even walk uh, next to your friend, next to your boyfriend, husband. You are just like one is in front, the other one is behind, and you walk because it's not considered as a relaxing walk but a walk that you have to go somewhere They're like really out of need we enjoy going to the supermarket because the surrounding that you see around it's uh, what the things that you see around it's trees it's uh, maybe kids playing in the play playground um, almost no cars almost no cars because yes there are cars it's much more enjoyable and pleasant to go even shopping than than here yeah here you have to get into the car go shopping go back we take it as um, nature walk walking to the supermarket shopping and then going back and also we uh, we do the shopping almost every day of the week and we don't buy too much so you can easily take it in one hand and it's not too heavy here you go and ban go bunch of food at the weekend for the whole week mm -hmm. yeah. and talking about parks um, it comes to my mind another one that I didn't write down it seems but you're allowed to drink alcoholic beverages in park anywhere uh, like absolutely anywhere not just in the park yeah but park is the most yeah it's nice like you have kind of picnic or you sit with your friends just on the grass the grass is beautiful green you sit down with your friends and yeah. you have a drink and you don't have to spend so much money in a restaurant yeah and you can drink you can get drunk uh, sometimes I found many Czechs that were drunk just shouting, but it's uh, it's allowed. It's, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, th we cannot be violent. Yeah, there is mm -hmm. police and they will uh, do something about that. They would do something about it, but it's not the case. Like, we are very pacific, I would yeah. say. As long we as are just being a little bit noisy and nothing yeah, else they're noisy but not violent so as long as you're not violent you can drink and get drunk in any public area we are just laughing a lot like any <laughs> person when they are tipsy or drunk <laughs> yeah, 
exactly and that's another point that shocked me that there are many streets that at night they look really scary like taken from a horror movies but you can walk and you will be totally safe it's totally safe uh, I was reading last year that Czech Republic is in the top 10 of the safest uh, countries in the world so it's totally safe I would say totally safe we are not encouraging you to go out and <laughs> try <laughs> but yeah, don't dare. I mean it's there of, has of been of course you have to take care of yourself yes. There has been many occasions that I was walking alone in a kind of empty park uh, pretty late at night and nothing ever happened to me and I have never heard about anybody being hurt. So it is kind of safe, but I wouldn't do it in Prague or the bigger cities. Yeah, because there you have many foreigners There are uh, a small group of vicious people that would try to take advantage of, of the tourists, yes. Mm -hmm. But in small cities uh, it's totally fine and capital Prague, I would be careful there. It's like any kind of capital city. They know that there are a lot of tourism, that there are many tourists so they try to take advantage of it okay so the next one the next one is that um, most of the shops they close early and you know if you're Mexican we are really used to find tienditas or small shops open at least till the uh, at least till 10 p.m. or some of them even later but in Czech Republic you can't find that. that we have uh, the supermarkets that are like a bigger supermarket chain, the chain. Uh, they are opened till 10 but not more there is no shop that would be opened after 10 and most of the shops, what is the most common is that shops, supermarkets and smaller shops are closing at 8 o'clock. And offices are closing at 5 o'clock. That's um, the usual opening uh, hour. Those are the usual opening hours. Yeah, that's another interesting topic. The work, working hours and working, working <laughs> I need water. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, the, the next thing that shocked me is that in Czech Republic, once you get to, to your house or the place that you are living in, you have to take off your shoes. 100% of the time. 100% yeah. yeah. <laughs> At every single occasion, entering place where somebody lives, you have to take off your shoes. Yeah, I was I was living in a in a residence school at first, so I didn't care. It was my room, <laughs> and I was <laughs> and I was living like a normal Mexican guy. So with my shoes, walking, no problem. But then, when I visited some Czech friends, they were looking at me like, what's wrong with you? You have to take them off. I mean, at first, they didn't know that I didn't know it, so they just look at me in a weird way. And then I ask why, and then they explain me. So, yeah, you have to take off your shoes in a Czech house. Next one, and I think it's the last one, that you can drink water from the tap or the shower or any source of water that you find on your way 
you can drink it's totally safe then I, I did some research and they have the purest water in Central Europe in Prague actually it comes, there was it, it comes from some mountains or? the mountains that are all around Czech Republic and I have heard that there was somebody that was suggesting to sell the water like the topping water to sell it to put it into plastic uh, bottles and to be selling it because really it it tastes really nice it has really nice taste I would say that it tastes better than the water that you are buying here in Mexico. I agree. It's true. Um, well, I don't know if that was that idea was taken. I also read about it that they wanted to sell the water. Who knows? Maybe now you can buy uh, water from Parak <laughs> somewhere. Because of the pandemic. We haven't had the chance to go back, so our friends who are in Czech Republic, you can inform us. About Let us topic. know. Let us know. And these are some of the things that shocked me living in Czech Republic. Um, maybe I forgot some of them, but I think for now it's it's enough. So remember to subscribe to the channel support us with likes, sharings, and more. You want to add something? No. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching and see you next week back here on this channel. Remember if you have any interesting topic that you would like to know about, just comment. Okay. Let us know what are your doubts. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See you.